Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here, Hobby Town Hobbyplex, and we're here for a What's New Wednesday on an actual Wednesday, and we actually have a, quite a bit of stuff that's coming the last couple weeks. I know there was a big gap there a couple months ago, but uh, that gap is definitely getting closed up because we've got all this glorious stuff here to go over. Uh, let's see, let's start. First thing, the Hyrax SCXL. So these are the Proline Hyrax tires for your short course truck. So uh, the crawler guys have been blessed with the Hyrax style tire for a long time. And now you can get it in your short course truck. I even think they're coming out with a version for like the, uh, um, the big, uh, the Rift, like the Axle Rift. And uh, we should be getting those in too. Had a brain fart there for a second. Okay, uh, really quick, thought this was great. So we have some, uh, they call them sand sticks. This is for breaking in your tire. Now, I actually made one of these. I went to the store, I got a, what is this, a spatula uh, or a scraper, and I just basically glued sandpaper down. And uh, I'm not saying that that's what these guys did, but uh, either way, this is way better, um, way more convenient than what I did. Uh, it's got two different sanding. So you got one that's abrasive and one that's really, uh, fine so and they come in two different widths so like a like maybe a 10 scale or a sedan style and then like a truck or an 8 scale style uh, speaking of tires I just I have to include these because this is one of my favorite products in a long time this is a team powers uh, tire grip uh, bottle so you put your tire sauce in here and then you you, you pull that open and uh, I'm not saying that they look like anything that could be used for other things but it kind of does so we'll just leave that there and, uh, and we'll move on uh, okay uh, we just got these in so this is a, a exotech slash rear uh, body mount we had some guys asking um, for these and uh, after some investigating I'm like holy crap we haven't gotten those in yet so I made sure to get those in we got in the this new really cool uh, carbon fiber battery tie down for your dr10 and so this is really neat because it has a slot here. And because a lot of us are not running full size batteries in our drag car, it has a couple of these stops and you can move the stops back and forth. So if you want to have your battery all the way forward, you still have the battery strap holding it in. It can keep it in place if you want to move it back or if you want to play with that as you're doing uh, practice passes and stuff. There you go. This is really neat. Some more DR10 stuff we got in. So we got in the uh, Exotech steel top shafts. So if you're, uh, if you're worried about um, breaking the aluminum ones or uh, there's kind of a tuning option too like you would think that you always want it to be light but in many ways um, having this having a heavier top shaft and heavier internals can actually you can almost use it as a tuning aid to, to basically gain traction so um, I think the main purpose of these is to make it stronger but whatever um, okay We've had this in before, but uh, it's been out of stock for a while, of course. We, this is the DRK uh, Drag Racing ESC from, from Macklin, and uh, this is very, very sought after. We just happened to get one in, so I figured I'd throw it in here. Now that somebody's going to see this, I'm sure we're going to get like a phone call or something tonight, and it'll be gone. That's okay. Um, let's see. Let's move on. So we had a couple guys asking for uh, right height gauges that do lower than 20 millimeters, so we've had these... Um, uh, Gia, I think is how you pronounce that, right height gauges where they basically you click for every millimeter, right? So you start off, uh, like the one I have, it starts off at 20 and then one click is, is one millimeter up. Well now this starts at 14 and goes up to 19. So uh, this would be really useful for say carpet racing. Um, some dirt guys are running lower than 20 millimeters on their, on their uh, 10 scale buggies and stuff. So uh, we got those in. This is really neat. This is a Yeah Racing a uh, single hand adapter for your radio. So with this, you wrap it around the wheel and then uh, a lot like the, um, the DX5 Rugged, how it has that little thumb thing there. So basically it's, it's, it's guys can, uh, can steer and throttle with one hand on their controller. And then also it frees up this hand. So you could be driving like this and in this hand, you could have something like this. And then you can just be like, Yep, and just keep doing that. Or maybe a video camera uh, or something like that, you know, like a GoPro or, or your phone or whatever. But uh, more than likely, 
it's actually something cupping in this hand that you would sit from. But uh, that's pretty cool. We got a whole bunch of those. Figured they'd be popular. Uh, one more drag racing item here. Uh, DR10 carbon fiber motor plate from Drag Race Con uh, Concepts. Uh, this probably won't be here when any of you actually come in to, 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 to buy it because I kind of ordered it for me. So maybe it'll still be here. I don't know. Uh, and then we just got in literally like an hour ago the Pro Scale 2021 Ford Bronco uh, Advanced Light Control System. So this comes with everything you need to get your 2021 Bronco lit up. Uh, I know there's quite a few guys been waiting on that, those that have, got, that have gotten the Broncos. Speaking of that, um, we just got in yesterday a whole bunch of tracks and stuff off of back order, including more drag slashes. So we got in, uh, I think, four or five different colors finally. Um, we just got in a bunch more of the uh, the Stingrays, the Vortex. Uh, we got it. We we were we uh, were loaded up on 2021 Broncos, so all the new cars, including this new car that we're going to mention here in a little bit. Um, so keep an eye on that. And then finally, last of the little stuff here. Uh, so right now in the industry, keeping oils in has been really tough, whether it be shock oil or diff fluid or whatever. So I saw that a whole bunch of these were in stock at one of our distributors. I've never heard of this brand before, but I'm like, they're in stock. I'm buying a whole bunch of them. So we have 300,000 weight, um, 200,000 weight. So for the off-road guys, they've really been using these for their center diffs on like their four-wheel drives. And then a whole bunch of 500,000 weight. These have been out of stock from uh, Kyosho, uh, Mugen, um, Team Associated hasn't had any for a while. So I got a bunch of these in. Drag Race guys have been looking for this. Um, maybe some uh, honor guys have been putting that much weight in their uh, in their diffs and everything. So uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of those. Hopefully they stay in stock. We'll see what happens. All right, moving on. I saw these over there, and I thought that these were super cool. <coughs> so these are officially licensed uh, peanuts um, uh, models. So any of you guys that uh, that ever watched. Um, Charlie Brown, like uh, the cartoon, uh, uh, Snoopy, you know, the dog, and uh, yeah, look at it, it comes with, it's Snoopy, and uh, a motorized propeller, that's really neat, it's snapped together too, so it's nothing crazy, and then he was always fighting with the Red Baron, remember they had the, the, the battle, and uh, you know, this was back when, you know, we could have Saturday morning cartoons, and it was cool, so... That's for us old dudes, I'm sorry, but it, it, it is still really neat. And then uh, one of my favorite cars to say, so those of you that have watched this channel know that I'm not really a real car guy. I don't really give a crap about most real cars. However, when I can say Vega, I think that's just a sweet name for a car. So uh, I saw that we had just gotten this in. So it says big scale Chevy Vega, funny car. Drag racing has been really popular. Maybe you can build a model, maybe you can get Maybe somebody would come out with a Vega. That'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Like a, like a Proline or J-Concepts Vega. I'd run it. Okay, here we go. So this is your uh, uh, Fortec Factory 5. So you have the uh, the coupe and the truck. And these things are brand spanking new. They came in yesterday. These are on the uh, the new Fortec chassis. And I I'm, I really want to do an unboxing, probably on the truck, because I, I think that body's really neat. But uh, you know, they're, they're $299, so they're not too crazy. And uh, yeah, we got them. We actually have a whole bunch of them. So, um, and we didn't have to wait. Sometimes when Traxxas releases new stuff, you know, they have that that intro kit or whatever, um, but they haven't done that since the since the Stingray. So, and we got them in, they're for sale. Got a couple different colors, and uh, they're good to go. Another new car that I saw it was in, and I thought it was really neat, was a uh, Max Speed Technology uh, mini they call it a TCRM and basically see if I can find a picture of it so this car can be configured in both a front wheel drive rear wheel drive and then like a mid motor um, uh, rear it's it's not it's not four wheel drive so front motor rear motor or mid motor uh, two wheel drive and it's got that um, uh, what is that a Mazda I think that's a Mazda Miata on there and uh, let's see, there's the chassis right there. See, that's pretty cool. 
it's cheap it's 129.99 doesn't come with any electronics or anything but still for a for a for a small touring car i think that's pretty cool i like to order you know something neat like this every once in a while just to just to see who gets one and puts it together and, and drives it on our carpet track okay and then this one so this was announced i think last year so the the Nuremberg Toy Show, which usually happens around February, and uh, all the big companies go there and try to release new stuff. Uh, since they didn't have that last year, they did like a virtual thing. And one of the cool things that Tamaya showed was this uh, this Land uh, Landfreeder Quad Track on a TTO2 uh, style chassis, shaft drive chassis. It's it's I believe a big Ford truck with these treads. How unique is that, right? That's really cool. So. I saw that they had one in stock, and before they were out of stock, I'm like, totally getting that. So, um, I ordered it, it's 319 bucks. comes with the uh, speed controller and motor, still got to supply your own radio, servo, uh, battery, charger, and uh, receiver to go with that radio, but uh, I don't know, I kind of, I could get in real trouble in this hobby, but what am I saying? I, ha I've, I, am, I have been in real trouble in this hobby because there's all this stuff that I want to get. This is one of those things where I'd probably buy it and never open it. Like it would just be on my shelf in the background of the after hour show, unopened. And then, you know, 30 years from now or whatever, you know, when they're cleaning out my, my room and somebody finds this and they know what it is and they freak out and then they put it on eBay and they want like, you know, well by that time it would be like $10,000 or something crazy like that. Anyways, that's looking really far ahead, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> So check this out. We got a uh, semi-assembled lunchbox. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so basically, um, it's not really ready to run. You still gotta supply your own, um, same thing as that one, your own equipment. Uh, but you don't have to do any of the, the building. Which, you know, everybody's got their own opinion on that. I kind of would like to build one, but maybe other people wouldn't. I have a lunchbox and uh, it'll never be driven ever. Okay, a couple new planes. Just drop that. <laughs> a couple new planes. We got an F-16 uh, 80 millimeter Flying Falcon. This just came in yesterday. Uh, it's brand new. So they've had the, uh, uh, I believe the smaller Falcon. This is the larger one, a little bit more money, but uh, also a higher skill level, about a skill level three. And then we finally got open stock on the uh, Dracos. Um, they've been out for a while, but they've been um, basically pre-sold. So every time we got one in, and have to go to somebody that was pre-selling it. Uh, well, we finally got open stock. We actually got a couple of them. And then finally, some of the coolest things we've, we've gotten in a little while. I just want to show you guys this. So, so this is a fake gun with an actual like bolt action and a is that a magazine okay and so it's got replacement magazines right and then it actually ejects as you pull this back it ejects the bullets out of the top just like the real thing so you're not actually shooting anything there's nothing coming out of it but when you play and you, you shoot it this these little guys come out of there and then as you lose them you can come back in and you can fill back up your magazine and then you go like that and pew 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 and then so I used to play guns when I was a kid. I don't know if I could get away with that nowadays. I'd have to like go to the forest or something like that where nobody could see me. But my friends and I back in the 80s, we used to have these like realistic guns that used to be sold by like Mattel and Hasbro and stuff. And uh, basically you just pile them all up at somebody's porch and then you take turns picking out your gun. And then whoever got left with like the last gun had this tiny little pistol or whatever it was. And then we'd run around the neighborhood through people's yards without getting the cops called on us and like pretend play guns. We'd say bang, 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 and then we'd pr pretend to be dead or whatever. If this was was around back then, I would be the coolest one ever because it's got an actual little shotgun thingy and it makes the noise and I think that's so rad. I don't know if you've ever seen, um, I think it's Terminator 2, where like he comes out of the thing during the mall scene and he's just like, it's so cool. Uh, so we just got these in. These are brand spanking new. They're $24.99. Um, they're pretty tough. They're half wood, half metal and they actually work. So again, nothing's coming out of the front, so we don't have to worry about that. And they do have the orange safety on the front, so you know, just don't go pointing at anybody. Um, that's it, that's a what's new. 
uh, pretty big menagerie of stuff, one of my favorite words to say. Make sure that you guys subscribe, like, tell your friends, uh, tune into Hobby Plex After Hours this Thursday, I will actually be on, and then of course our podcast every Monday around 6.30. Uh, we'll see you there.